what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to the channel and while you're at it go ahead and smash the like button i really would appreciate that now i'm going to talk to you guys about five things that you can do right now five things that you guys can do right now to prepare yourselves for what is coming now we only have 13 days we only have 13 days remaining. Clock is ticking. And we need to take this opportunity. We need to take this, this time to prepare. And the Fed has made some big changes. And the concerning part is that we haven't even felt the full effects of the Fed's decisions at this point. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So I want to talk to you guys about five things that you can do to prepare as we transition into this uh, hopefully lower inflationary environment and as we transition into a recession. Now, we've got 13 days. So first and foremost, the first thing that I would do is I would be focusing on my income. So your income is going to be your number one uh, wealth building tool. Unfortunately, for most Americans, they spend the majority of their income just trying to keep their head above water. So first and foremost, your goal is to ensure that your income is safe. A lot of people are concerned about job loss, income security, income insecurity, I should say, um, and unemployment, potential layoffs, We've already heard numerous companies announcing layoffs, Amazon, Facebook, Meta, Twitter, Walmart, Redfin. I mean, if you're in the real estate industry right now, you're you're in, in, in a high risk situation. That is one of the industries that is going to be hit the hardest. Retail is being hit. Um, so actually, uh, I want to say DoorDash announced twelve hundred. 1,250 jobs going out the door recently. Anyway, there's a number of different places that are reducing headcount. So first and foremost, income. Lock down, lock in your income. So how are you going to do this? Well, you need to make sure that you're in an industry that's safe. And just because you're in an industry that's not safe doesn't mean that you can't obtain security in that industry. And I've gone into that on a previous video this strategy that I shared in a previous video actually shows you how to actually make more money doing what you're already doing, but at the same time, securing your job so that you are recession proof. Okay. So if you guys want more information on that, definitely check out my previous video or holler at me in the comments down below if you want me to share more information on that in a future video. Number two, make sure that you are eliminating debt. OK, now we've already seen how the Fed's interest rate hikes have drastically, dramatically made it more expensive for Americans to survive. Now, of course, if you're on a fixed income, it's even more difficult, even more detrimental to you, because if you're on a fixed income, as your your expenses are increasing around you, 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 you can't increase your income. And that's a problem. That is a significant problem. Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, a lot of people are looking for looking forward to this 2023 Social Security increase uh, going into 2023. Will it happen? Yes, it will happen. And but the problem is, is if your expenses continue to exceed how much your income is increasing, uh, it's not going to do you a whole heck of a lot of good. So key. The key point is to make sure to pay off high interest credit card debt, high interest debt of all kinds, in, in my opinion. And, you know, this entire video should not be construed as financial advice. I'm just sharing some tips and strategies that I've used in my life personally uh, with you. And you can take this information, you know, for what it's worth. So I would be eliminating all sorts of high interest debt, variable interest debt from credit cards. Uh, heaven forbid, if you have a mortgage with a variable rate mortgage payment or a variable rate interest rate on it, uh, that could be very, very dangerous going into this uh, high interest rate environment that the Fed is driving us toward right now. 
The third thing that I would share with you is to create a budget. If you don't have a budget, make sure you create a budget now. A lot of people I talk to on my strategy calls, on my coaching calls, on my mentoring calls, um, they have no idea how much money they make. They have no idea how much money is going out. So how could you possibly uh, take control over your financial situation and you don't even know how much money you make? You don't know how much money you're spending. And most times, people find themselves in dire straits financially because there was no plan and they were out of control. And so even more important, you know, if you're on a, on a low income, you want to make sure that you do all you can to get out of that. Like just because your family historically, just because your previous family members, maybe your your mom, maybe your grandparents, maybe your dad. So maybe your parents, maybe your grandparents used to be poor. Maybe they were always broke. Maybe your parents were always broke. It doesn't mean that you have to be broke. The cycle can be broken, but you have to make a very definitive decision to make that change. So it starts off with increasing your income, starts off with eliminating debt, starts off with uh, creating a budget and identifying needs versus wants. Simple as that. Identifying needs versus, versus wants and eliminating them. This will open the door to create wealth building opportunities for you and for your family. And this is whether you want to be rich or not, that doesn't matter. But if you implement some of the habits of the rich, you can eliminate being poor. And I'm not saying like, you know, like, who, like, I don't think, I don't think most people really want to be a, a billionaire or anything like that. I know I don't want to be a billionaire, but I don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. And the way that the way to avoid living paycheck to paycheck, if you're in that current situation, which I was in for many, 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 many years, is you have to in a you have to enact some of the habits of the rich. And simple as that. Spend less than you make. Why? Because if you spend less than you make, then that means you're inevitably going to be getting out of debt because you're going to have a surplus of cash. And with that, once you're getting out of debt or even while you're getting out of debt, you can make investments, right? So this brings us to step number four. So um, number four, investing in the stock market. F the Fed's interest rates have driven the stock market into kind of like a tailspin, into a crash. But the good thing about this is that it has made a lot of very, very expensive, high quality companies cheap. And so the Fed has almost made it easier to become wealthy, to become rich, to build wealth, to increase your net worth, because the Fed has essentially driven down the stock market. So you can get a lot of companies, a lot of stocks that we used to see at a much higher cost per share for a lot cheaper. And so what this means is you can buy more of it. And of course, while the stock market is down right now, it doesn't mean that the stock market is going to stay down. Now, could the stock market go down even further before it goes up? Of course it could. <clears throat> but this is the whole benefit to have to having your financial house in order. If you have an excess of cash every single month, if you have more, if the more cash you can keep freed up from bills, the more you can have available and accessible to invest in these opportunities when they present themselves. So, I'll, you know, and, and I don't just have one brokerage account. I made sure to have multiple different investment accounts so that I can take advantage of a variety of opportunities that open themselves up. Now, if I want to invest in cryptocurrency, I have brokerages for that. If I want to invest in, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Shiba Inu coin, XRP, Ripple. If I want to invest in cryptocurrency, I have the brokerages that would allow me to be able to do that. They support that. If I want to invest in the S&P 500 through ETFs, index funds, um, if, I want, if I want to invest in individual companies, you know, some of your favorite companies out there, maybe your Home Depots, your Walmart, your Costco stocks, your Best Buy, your 
uh, Amazon, Apple stocks, Tesla stocks. I make sure I have the brokerages that allow me to be able to do this. And more importantly, brokerages that will allow me to take advantage of fractional share purchases. So all, all that is is a fancy word. It's a fancy way of saying, if I just want to buy a piece of a stock, I can do that. So let's just say hy- hypothetically, let's just say you wanted to buy Tesla stock and Tesla's a thousand dollars a share. Well, with some of these brokerages like M1 Finance, Robinhood, and a number of other different brokerages nowadays, uh, they've got apps. You can do it all this from your phone. And what these brokerage apps allow you to do is they allow you to buy pieces of a share. <clears throat> so let's say you don't have $1,000 to invest in. Um, I'm in the pantry right now, so I just stepped away. But let's just say you don't have $1,000 to invest in Tesla stock. But you do have $10. You do have $20, $30, 50 bucks. You can invest in a piece. You can invest in a fraction of that $1,000 Tesla stock. And then as that Tesla stock goes up in value, so does that fraction of your share. Your fractional share will go up proportionally as the stock is going up or down. And so you are just as much of an owner legitimately of this company buying a piece of a stock as you would if you were to buy a full share. And if you think about it, shares themselves are just a fraction of the company. You know, you when you buy one full share of Tesla, you're not buying 100% of Tesla, you're buying a piece of the company. And so when you're doing fractional share investing, you're getting a piece of that share, which is still a piece of the company. And if you get enough pieces, then you own the whole company. Some of these stocks, they pay dividends and whatnot. So this is going to create a tremendous, this, this, I believe that the stock market is definitely going to come back stronger than we've ever seen. And this is what a lot of people are not talking about, but we're talking about it here on the channel. And, you know, unfortunately black people are, you know, disproportionately low on the net worth scale. And so, um, it's going to require some significant changes for, that segment for this particular segment of the demographic to make a change for in terms of improvement. But the opportunity is here. Now, the fifth thing that I want to share with you guys, and this is what a lot of people don't talk about. I allocate a certain percentage of my income and I sock it away into an account that will allow me to be able to make riskier investments. That may not be the best term, but we'll just call it riskier for now. And the reason why I say that is because this allows me, you know, I'm not gambling or anything like that at all, but um, it allows me to have the capital needed to start, to start businesses. So, you know, I have monthly bills. Then I have a savings account that I put money into. Then I have a, an investment account that I put or multiple investment accounts that I put money into, but I also have a separate account that I put money into simply to allow myself to have the capital available to start a new business. If I have an idea, I can also pull from this fund to invest in myself. If I want to learn some new skill and maybe it costs money to invest in a course, Oh, okay. If I see the value in the course, and I know that once I acquire this knowledge from this course, I can now go and invest this. I can invest in myself by purchasing this course so I can learn this new skill so that I can increase my earning ability. And this is the, this is the key guys. You want to, you have three things in this world. You have time, you have money and you have skill, right? So whatever resource you have the most of, that is the resource you use to get the other two. For example, if you have no money and you have no skill, but you have a lot of time, then you take that time to learn, to read books, to go on go online and and learn new skills so that you can increase your skills with the abundance of time that you have. By increasing your skill, you can now take that new skill and increase your income. Now, let's just say you have money and you don't have time. 
let's say you have money, you don't have skill. You can take that money and you buy courses, you buy schooling, you purchase education. Now you got the skill. If you got money, you can also take that money and purchase uh, services that might help you to free up your time. Maybe you spend three, four hours a week cutting the grass and the, doing the bushes and outside landscape work to your house. Maybe you take the money, invest in a landscaping company that now saves you three, four hours a week that you can now take that time and reinvest that time somewhere else that will give you a higher rate of return on your investment. These are the skills. These are the, these are just some of the things that we talk about during my uh, coaching calls that I have with my clients, a lot of people, a lot of my clients don't realize some of the tremendous opportunities that are available to them all around us. 13 days left, guys, 13 days left. It's time to make a big change. A lot of people have their phones. They have access to smartphones. They have access to laptops and internet connection. There is no reason why you and your family don't Figure out a way to increase your net worth by an extra five thousand, ten thousand dollars, twenty, fifty thousand dollars by the end of the year. The opportunities are available. Now, granted, not everyone's going to be able to do it. Not everyone's willing to work. Not everyone believes that they can improve their financial situation. A lot of people, a lot of people are unfortunately stuck in a situation where what they see limits them on what can be. Now, I'm going to say that one more time. A lot of people are stuck in a situation where what they see limits them to what can be. So, for example, let's just say you're surrounded by um, uh, unsuccessful people. You're surrounded by you're in an environment where no one is is it. No one is doing what you hope to be able to do or what you wished you could be able to do. So you don't see signs of success. You're not surrounded by successful people. And a lot of times, if you don't see success around you, you feel like you can't be successful either. And this is rather unfortunate, but this is what holds a lot of people back. And this is why a lot of people find value in our Patreon family, because it's full of encouragement. It's full of, it's full of, hey, look, look what we're doing over here. Look what's, look what, look what Kelly's doing over here. Look what James is doing over there. You're seeing successful people and you're building this community of successful people. And what happens? There's a, uh, there's this, uh, there's a statistic that shows that your income is generally speaking an average income of the five people that you are closest to. You do the math. Think about who you're closest to, how much they probably make, and then compare it to how much you make. Chances are it's an average of the five. And the the key here is if you can increase, if you can hang around people who are doing better than you, then you will you will naturally average up in success. You will naturally average up in success. You'll be picking up on their habits. You will learn some of the things that are making them successful. And eventually you will adopt those habits. And those habits will inevitably increase your success rate. And more than likely increase your net worth as well. But anyway, guys, um, 13 more days. Definitely consider what we're talking about here. Watch this video again if we went over anything that you guys didn't quite catch. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend or a loved one. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next on the next one. Be safe.